and distinguished guests. Has this ever been you trying to find that perfect bottle of wine and you're just really confused? Do I, do I choose the 2007 Russian River Valley Cabernet Sauvignon? What about the 93 Sonoma Pinot Noir? Or how about that big box of Franzia White Zinfandel that's going to last about six months in your refrigerator? First of all, what you have to do is take a deep breath and relax. It's just wine. It's meant to be enjoyed with friends and family. What I'm going to do is, every bottle of wine that you're looking at tells a story. I'm going to break that story down into some simple components. The varietal of the wine, vintage. Some of the other characteristics of the wine, including taste and the region that it comes from. I'm going to break those down into very simple components. Number one, varietal of wine. That's just a fancy term for the type of wine. This bottle here is called Shiraz. That means that is the type of grape that was used to make that bottle of wine. Typically, these type of grapes are, they produce a bold, powerful, rich red wine. Vintage. Vintage simply is the year the grapes were harvested. For this bottle, they were harvested in the year 2007. It has nothing to do with the quality of the wine. It is just the year that the grapes were harvested. Another important factor is the region. This bottle of wine here came from the region of South Australia. To break it down a little more, it came from a micro region called Barossa Valley. This gives you an idea of what that area looks like. This area is perfect for growing these type of grapes. They are, it's a very hot, dry climate. And in the evenings you get cool ocean breezes, which are just perfect for this type, for this type of grape. The French have a term called terroir. It kind of makes it sound a little bit fancy. But simply what it is, it's just the characteristics that produce the quality of wine. The climate, the sunshine, the rainfall, the drainage. That's all terroir means, and that's what influences the quality of the wine. Now we're starting to get into the fun part. We learned a little bit about the wine. We're going to learn a little bit about color of the wine. Obviously there's two types. There's red wines and there's white wines. Red wines come from the red grapes. The white come from your green grapes. This type of wine here is a darker type wine. It's more of a bold wine. It's going to show up a lot darker. And another thing that influences the characteristics and the color of wine is the age. Typically red wines, as they age, they get lighter. White wines, as they age, they get a little bit darker. Anyone ever heard of legs of wine? <laughs> That's another factor with wine. I'm not talking about these type of legs, though. <laughs> you know, I got your attention. <laughs> what I'm talking about is wine legs. When you tip the glass over, you can see the streaks that are forming on the glass. This has nothing to do with the quality of the wine. All this has to do with is the alcohol content in the wine. This bottle of wine here, that grape variety, typically has a higher alcohol content. They range, too. You might have a Pinot Noir or a Merlot, which is kind of on the one end of the spectrum, which is like a lighter type wine. And then you can move all the way over here to the Shiraz and Cabernet Sauvignons. The, what influences the alcohol content is the sugar amount inside the grapes. Hmm. See these guys sticking their nose in there and smelling, you've probably seen that too. That, this, is very, this is actually a very important step in the wine tasting process. The reason this is so important is because our nose can pick up 1,000 different scents. With this wine, typically what you're going to smell are sweet blackberries, spice, pepper, 
maybe even cherries. This takes experience being able to smell all those different types of scents in the wines. You, can, you might even hear people say grass, honeysuckle, pineapple, even cat pee. I don't know why cat pee. <laughs> But that's actually, a, that's actually a descriptor for wine. I don't know if I want to drink that type of wine. And then we got taste here. This, isn't, this, is, this doesn't go back to my fraternity days. Here. This guy here is tasting a bottle of uh, White Zinfandel Francia. This is also important. Some of the same smells that you would have with the sweet blackberries, the tar, the cigar, the vanilla, you would get those with experience as you drink more wine. That's the most exciting part. You learn about the history of the wines actually drinking it and enjoying it. Another important characteristic that people just make into a big science is the food, wine and food. Very simply, the bolder the wine, the heavier the food. A bold wine, a good steak goes with it. If you have a lighter wine, something like a lighter meat, like a chicken or a fish, it's simple. But you know what? There's no hard or fast rules. It's just your preference. <laughs> wine is, isn't meant to be complicated, it's meant to be fun. So like I was saying, it all tells a story. We need to keep it simple and enjoy it, because that's what it's all about. It's about enjoying it with your family, enjoying it with, friend, with friends. And I suggest this holiday season to go pick yourself out a bottle of wine. Hopefully you learned a little bit and enough for where you can go and pick out a bottle of wine and enjoy it with your family, friends, and loved ones. Mr. Toastmaster.